Let's look at how we might use the gradient map adjustment for creative color toning in Affinity Photo. First, let's add the adjustment. So we'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Gradient Map here. Okay, so on this dialog, we have currently three gradient stops. These represent the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So shadows are currently being mapped to the color red, midtones to green, and highlights to blue. So one way in which we can use this is to change these colors that are being mapped. Let's move across to the Layers panel and hide the Gradient Map Adjustment for now. Okay, I'll select the Shadow Stop, click into Color here, and I'm going to click drag on the Color Picker icon and color pick a suitable shadow tone within the image. Let's choose a gray down here, release the mouse button, and then I need to click here to assign my color picked value to that gradient stop. I'll do the same for the mid-tone stop, so I'll just pick a nice mid-skin tone, assign it, and then for the highlights, once again, let's pick a uh, Something off the dress, I think. So let's try and find a nice bright area of the dress and then assign that. So now what we can do is show that gradient map adjustment and then we can experiment with the blend mode. Okay, so we can either set the blend mode from the layers panel here or from the dialog. Let's do it from the dialog. And as we cycle through the blend modes, we can see various options available to us. Let's try soft light for now. So that's given us quite a distinct color tone. So here's the before and the after. But of course we can take this a step further. Why don't we start experimenting with the color tones? So let's select the shadow stop and let's experiment with a cool blue tone. Okay. And in addition, we can add more stops. So if I choose insert or I double click anywhere on this line, we can add an additional stop. And we can use these stops along the line by click dragging them to adjust the balance between these shadows, midtones, and highlights until we find a good balance for whatever kind of tonal color work we're trying to achieve. Okay, and don't forget to experiment with blend modes and also the opacity to control the overall strength of the effect that the gradient map is having. So there we go, just a quick look at the gradient map adjustment.